Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I am going to talk about comments in C Sharp. It's a powerful feature of each programming language, but it is seen that it's not given much importance. Many people say that the code we write should be self-explanatory. I agree, but to some extent, because I believe code can't be completely self-explanatory or self-document. For example, let's suppose if you introduce some new types, it has some contextual information that can't be transferred through the code. That's why comments play an important role and break out these limitations. So in this session, we will learn what comments are and how to add comments in a program. We'll also see its types and explore about them. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. How to add comments in C Sharp. Before we go ahead and indulge ourselves to learn how to add comments in C Sharp, we should know first what comments are. Comments in C Sharp help us to explain what our code does. The statement that we write as comments are ignored by the compiler. So these statements are human readable, which explain what our code does or give insights about some contextual information. Okay, now we understood what comments are. Now let's see its types. There are four types of comments in C Sharp. These are single line comments, trailing comments, multi line comments, and XML documentation comments. Single line comments, as the name suggests, it span a single line. It starts with the double forwards. See the example where this is the single line comment, right? Trailing comments. It's just a variation of the single line comment. Double forward slash appears at the end of the line. If you see the examples over here, this is the trailing comment, right? Multi line comment. At the name suggests, it spans more than one line. That's why it is called as a multi line comment. We can either repeat a single line comment for each line or use a specially designed multi line comment. That starts with one forward slash asterisk and then end with asterisk forward slash. And in between, we just write the comments that would span more than one line. That's it. So if you see the examples over here, this is the multi line comment that span more than one line. Right. Now, XML documentation comment. It helps us to document the public members of user defined types as well as the types themselves. We just need to write triple forward slash and it would provide the placeholder to write the comment. See the examples over here. There is a class test and then we just write the triple slash. Then it gave us the summary tag, right? And in between, we just wrote this is the XML documentation comment that gave information about the class test. So these are the comments available in the C sharp. Okay, now switch to Visual Studio and see all those things in action. Okay, so here we are on Visual Studio. I have written single line comments, multi line comments, trailing comments just for the depicting purpose. If you notice over here, I have written console dot write line hello and I have commented with the single line comment. It start with double forward slash and then a statement is there. So this statement is just going to get ignored by the compiler, right? So this next statement console dot write line single line comments demo would get printed into this console. Next, I have written this statement console dot write line trailing comments demo. And then after that, I have written this. This is the trailing comment. So this is the way how we write the trailing comments. After the statement, we need to write the double forward slash and then need to put the statement. So whatever the statement that we are putting is not going to consider by the compiler. I mean, it is just going to get ignored by the compiler. So only this statement is just going to get printed. This is the multi-line comment that starts with one forward slash asterisk and ends with asterisk with one forward slash. In between, we write the statement. That statement, it is just going to get ignored by the compiler. Next statement, this console dot write line multi line comments demo would get printed into this console. Okay, let me execute this and see the output. Okay, if you see output got appear into this console window, single line comments demo, trailing comments demo, multi line comments demo, all got printed into this console. But whatever the statement that we have written, to this comments, it just ignored by the compiler. So you are not able to see all those things into this console window, right? So that's the behavior of the comments. So here we are in Visual Studio where we are going to see the demo of the XML documentation comment. For that, let's suppose I just want to put the XML documentation for this add method. For that, what I will have to do is we just need to write the triple forward slash then enter. Then it just give us the platform where we need to write the summary returns parameter. If you see here, this is the summary. I can write add method such to input parameters. Now 
so i have written this summary then i can put the returns also returns the and as soon as we write this xml documentation we are just go and hover this add method then if you see here the intelligence picked the xml document and it started displaying over here add method that is input parameters and return the add result also whatever the we have written in the return section return the add result of the end data just started depicting xml documentation comments are very very important Whenever we wanted to achieve some type of documentation using this comments itself, we can do so. There are so many tools that uses this XML documentation comments and generate the document on the fly. For example, Endo, best practices of comments in Csharp. Here we are going to discuss some of the best practices for writing comments in Csharp. Number one, use comments when code is hard to understand or there is a need to provide some contextual information. If code is self-explanatory, there is no need to write comments. Number two, keep the comments simple. Simple in the sense, comments should just precisely explain what code does. Number three, do add comments when fixing bugs improve. Whenever there is a change in code in order to fix the bug, comments should be written. Keep the comments lines short. If comments are large, do write in multiple lines instead of cramming everything in one line. That brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video, we saw what comments are and how we can write different types of comments and its uses. Finally, we talked about its best practices. That's all for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.